Hi, my name is Bruce Quinn and I've done a couple videos, a detailed 15 minute video and a much shorter three minute video that show you how to use software called voice meter and put it between your microphone and zoom so that you can sync up your audio with visual images that are coming through special cameras, through special drivers, through software like OBS Studio, so that your video may be delayed three or 400 milliseconds relative to your audio. So you need to also learn how to delay your audio. Now in those other videos, I said you want to download um, a virtual cable software, which is by itself, and you want to download something called Voice Meter, which is separate. And I said when you're setting this up, do not use the Voice Meter built-in cables because they will just mess you up. Use an independent cable, uh, which you have downloaded separately. And frankly, I still recommended this, but I did figure out a way to use only the built-in Voice Meter cable to transmit the delay in the audio that you want Voice Meter to create. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's kind of weirdly complicated, although it's all within VoiceMeter. Um, and you actually learn how VoiceMeter works by doing this. But I'm not sure I would recommend it over the method I've already um, made videos about. So let's look at VoiceMeter. Um, so notice I've set all the volumes to zero. And I've set all of these A and B channel throughputs to uh, turned off as well. So we're going to set up voice meter to do what we want to do. So first we go to hardware input and we call it, uh, we select MME microphone Realtek audio. That's a standard Windows uh, microphone. And we have to send it somewhere. We're going to send it to channel A and we have to give it some volume. So we bring up the uh, decibel slider to about zero. Remember that decibel sliders like this are very sensitive, so minus 5 or plus 5 is a pretty big difference, uh, so you want to set it close to 0. Uh, as in my other videos, we're skipping the second channel entirely. And for now, we're skipping the third channel, the virtual channel. So, we've sent the microphone coming in here in the top left, and we're sending it to A. So let's turn that up so that A has some volume. We'll set it at about zero again. Now, right now, this isn't going anywhere, so we need to send it somewhere. So we go to the A1 selector, and we're going to send it to voice meter input. Now, in my other videos, I suggested you send it to MME cable input VB audio virtual cable. And that's actually going to be easier but we're going to pretend we only have voice meter input, so we're going to select that. Now, where the hell is this going? Where is voice meter input going? Well, it tells you. It says virtual input over here, and that's the voice meter internal cable. So the sound is coming into this view meter, um, but we have to turn up the volume to be able to see it. Also, you haven't seen it yet, but the A1 sound has a 400 millisecond delay. So if I clap, you'll see the signal, the clap will be first in the um, left microphone monitor, and the clap will be half a second delayed in this uh, virtual monitor because it is seeing the output of A1, and the output of A1 includes a delay. So here we go. So we've created a channel here that's called virtual input output uh, that does have the delay. Where are we going to send it? We're going to send it to B. That means it's over here in B, which is called virtual output. It's a little hard to see. We're going to turn up the volume. And so now you're watching the microphone live in the far left and in A here. But the A1 output has got a delay on it. So when it goes to voice meter input, that's the, this third panel, this shows the delay. And that's instantly going through B over to B, and so this shows the delay. So this voice meter and this voice meter uh, are identical, and they're both delayed some. So where does this go? You don't have any controls for output here on B. That's because it's going to voice meter virtual cable automatically. It's just baked into the system. And uh, just to show you where the... Um, 
delay comes from. Here's channel A1. It's got a 400 millisecond delay. Now it's a little confusing because channel A1 is called hardware output, but we are sending hardware output right to this third panel that's inside of a voice meter. So, so that's, it's not really hardware, it's obviously this own software. And then this software is going through B, which is a virtual output of voice meter. Now I'm gonna minimize that and I'm gonna show you my zoom screen, which is running. Um, and if we go to microphone, you see that the microphone is voice meter. Uh, voice meter output, which is voice meter virtual cable coming out of voice meter. And if we go to audio settings, there it is. Voice meter output is my microphone and there's the uh, uh, signal. Um, and if we clap, uh, it will come with a 400 millisecond delay because it's, it's coming through that channel. So this is a way of getting the voice meter cable to work. Um, but it's, it's not necessarily simpler, so I'm not sure I would really recommend it uh, over just using an independent cable. It's a, it's a little kludgy, but uh, easier to understand. Thank you for watching this. I'm not going to advertise this very heavily, but I've recorded it so uh, people can find it if they need it. Thank you.